Do you want to learn how to make video games and then get a job at a game company or game studio or maybe even start up your own game studio? And are you wondering how to get started at game development? Are you thinking, what game engine should I use? What tools should I use? Should it be Unity? Should it be Unreal? Should it be Blender? What programming languages should I use? And whether you should self-learn or do a game course? So many questions, right? In this video, you are going to find out the answers to how you can make your game dev dreams come true. I'm going to tell you stuff that nobody does. And that is how games are actually made. What exactly is game dev, right? And if you watch till the very end, you will also know the right strategy that you can employ to actually learn that stuff and then get a job or make your own studio. Do whatever career path you want to choose. I'm Rahul Segal, the founder of GameToMaker.com. And if you haven't done so already, hit a like, subscribe so that you don't miss any of my updates. Also follow me on Instagram. Tons of great content, tips and tricks on game development and game making. Also join the Game to Maker Discord server. It is a great place full of people who want to make video games just like you. So let's go. All right. First, let's do a quick Google search for how to learn game development, shall we? And what you will see are basically tools. You will see people talking about Unity. You'll see people talking about Maya. You'll see people talking about Unreal. You will see tons and tons of people talking about the same thing, and that is how to use tools. Now, yes, you do need a game engine to make games. You need Unity. You need uh, Unreal, you need Blender to make assets, 3D assets, and, and whatnot. But here's the thing. Tools is just a small part of the process of making games. There is so much more to video games than just tools. So if you want to learn game development, it's not just tools you need to learn. There is a whole process. There is a thought process that goes into making games. So now if you want to learn how to make video games, the internet seems a really great place is because got all these free or low price resources such as YouTube tutorials on Unity and Blender, etc. and Unreal. And you have all these generic e-learning courses where, where you get courses for low price or almost free. And it's actually a good idea to start off by making a few small games on your own with guidance that you got on YouTube and stuff. But the problem is that this is where a lot of game makers get stuck. They make a couple of free games that they get off tutorials and they make a small little portfolio to put three, four clone games together and then they can't find a job. I get lots and lots of questions from people as I mentor saying, Rahul, I'm stuck. I made a few small games and I'm not getting a job. I don't know how to go further. I don't know how what to do at this point. I get a lot of comments like this on my YouTube channel and, the, and messages on Instagram and also on the Discord server. And the truth is that they get stuck because they have hit something called the Game Dev Iceberg. Boom! What is the Game Dev Iceberg? The Game Dev Iceberg is all the hidden processes of game development, but that you don't see on the normal internet, right? On the internet, you look at I'm going to come up with a game idea. I'm going to download an engine. I'm going to get some game assets. Boom, I have a game. But the truth is that there is a lot more to game development than just these three processes. So in the gamer to make a method, I teach my students that there are basically four P's that need to be followed to make something of a high quality world class games. These are plan, produce, polish, and push and I'm going to talk about all of these now. Firstly, plan. What is plan? Plan is this rigorous process of pre-production. It involves market and player research, conceptualization, scoping, documentation and concept art. This is the part that most beginners, they just skip 
because it's kind of boring and also most people don't know how to do it. So they skip this part, they go straight into building their game, which is why they don't really understand game dev. They understand how to use tools, but they don't understand all this important stuff that comes before you start using tools. And the truth is that game companies and successful game studios do this a lot, right? The plan part, which is pre-production, is a huge part of game development. And you don't get to learn this from tutorials on YouTube and also these e-learning sites, right? The second phase is the second P is produce. This is where you actually build the game. Now, producing the game involves actually building the game, coding the mechanics, functionality, and creating and implementing the art and sound assets. Beginners usually start here. They skip the entire plan phase, and it's usually a recipe for disaster, and the reason why most beginner game projects fail. Next up, the third P is polish. This is among the hardest parts of the game development process. This is super hard because this is where you're almost done with the game. You've been working hard for months, maybe even years. And now you have to polish the game. You have to test the game either by yourself or by external testers during beta testing, etc. And you have to make these tiny, tiny changes. You have to tune the game. You have to optimize the game. You have to make it better and polish it into a world-class game. This is the polish phase, the third phase, also a very, very difficult phase in game making. And lastly, you, the fourth P is push. Push is basically marketing the game. You're selling the game, you're putting the game out there, getting players uh, to play a game, download the game. And this is also something which we creative people are usually not very good at. Most Game devs usually do this right at the very end, a couple of days before putting the game out. They're like, okay, guys, this is my game. Here's a trailer, blah, blah, blah. But you are supposed to start it way before you release your game. You're supposed to have a marketing strategy. You're supposed to actually build upon that marketing strategy and start implementing when you're actually coming, coming up with your game idea. So that's the 4P. And marketing as such once again is really really hard to learn from youtube tutorials they just don't teach you they teach you how to maybe implement the tools for building your game but they don't teach you any of this stuff so now if you really want to learn game development sure tools are a small part of it but you have to learn these four p's how do you learn these four p's one way to learn them is of course to get a job firstly it's not going to be easy to get a job without making decent quality games and understanding these processes and secondly even after you do get an entry level job you'll be starting really at the bottom and it's going to take you a long time to actually learn this stuff on the job and hopefully there will be someone who's going to actually teach you the other option is to actually do a gaming course, some kind of course or study, or some kind of structured learning course which teaches you all of these things. So if you're trying to decide whether you should self-learn or do a course to basically learn game dev, keep these few things in mind. Firstly, unless you understand the four P's and you follow them, you're not going to be able to be go from an amateur to a professional game maker, right? even if you want to establish your own game studio or get a job at a good game company. You actually need a structured learning program to learn the process of game dev. Also remember the only way to learn how to make video games is to actually make them. So whatever program you take, whatever course you take has to be practical. There actually has to be a game project in that program because then you'll not only learn concepts, you'll be able to implement them in your game. And at the end, you'll have a game to show in your portfolio. And that's going to be the biggest asset that you're going to have that's going to help you to get a job at a game company. So here's the thing, you can make much faster progress in your game career if you understand the fundamentals. And the only way you're really going to understand the fundamentals if you is if you have a mentor, you have someone who's experienced actually teaching you that stuff because you can make a lot of mistakes if you don't have someone showing you the ropes. If you're going to learn from the internet, if you're going to learn tools from the internet, fine but you won't know the actual procedures, the stuff under the iceberg. This stuff has to come from a mentor and I recommend getting this from a game course. Okay, so now here's the thing. 
what game course did you choose? There are a lot of bad game courses out there. I know a lot of people who've spent lots of time and money on game courses and they've learned nothing. So there are a few ways of actually learning how to choose a good game course. And I'm going to be talking about those in the next video, right? So to wind up, remember, if you want to learn game development, the internet is a great place to learn tools. It's a great place to learn Unity, uh, Unreal, um, Blender, whatever you want. But if you really want to go far, don't forget that you have to learn the processes which are under the iceberg that I've shown you. And the only way to learn those processes is the on the job or through a game course where you have industry mentors, people who have actually made video games, show you how to do those processes. All right, let's go.